Tonight, NBC Bay Area responds to a Mountain View woman whose airline ticket went haywire and cost her thousands more than she expected. She asked consumer investigator Chris Kamora to look into it, and he found a much bigger story. Good evening. Tonight, the warning we're sharing applies to almost everyone. If you ever Google a company, any company on your smartphone, beware of tapping the call button. For the holidays, Alice Klein has planned an overseas adventure. I want to take my family to Israel. So Alice logged on to the United Airlines website and booked six tickets. Got a receipt in minutes. But she made a typo. No problem, though. Airlines mostly allow ticket changes in the first 24 hours with no fees. I did a search on my phone for United Airlines, and I called the number that came up. Buckle up. This is where it gets bumpy. The agent canceled Alice's reservation and booked a new one, but they also made changes Alice did not request. Then they charged extra. It was two or three thousand dollars more, and I didn't realize until later that I hadn't been speaking to United Airlines. Nope. Alice unknowingly connected to a travel agency. Here's how. When she Googled United Airlines on her phone, she clicked the call link. But that call button can be bought. When a company pays for an ad at the top of a search page, it can also put its phone number in the call button below. This whole section is an ad. Google said that's what the travel agency did. They paid, so their phone number appeared first when folks searched for United Airlines. You know, when I say call United Airlines, I want them to call United Airlines. Alice is not alone feeling fooled. They lied in Google. They lied to us on the phone. Ed Slanina near Chicago booked United, needed to call, Googled United Airlines, clicked the call button, and got the same travel agency. We asked, do you work for United? You go, yes, we work for United. Ed said a real United rep told him the imposter made changes that didn't warrant a service fee, and yet Virago Travels charged him 450 bucks. The fee was ridiculous. We dialed Virago Travels a few times. A computerized voice answered first with no company name. Then, so I'm not calling United Airlines. When a human picked up, they only said reservations. It's not like he goes, Virago Travel, can I help you? Many Google reviews of Virago Travels involve Delta Airlines, too. Most reviews include the word scam or scammers. Using state records, we traced Virago Travels here to an apartment inside this gated community in Fremont. It's a licensed travel agency. We've repeatedly called and emailed because we have questions. We were promised to call back, but that didn't happen. We asked Google about Virago's call button ad. It investigated, then said, upon review, we found that the ads in question violate our misrepresentation policies. These ads have been removed. We alerted both Delta and United. Delta did not respond, but United did and said, we escalated this to our corporate security team. United explained that Virago Travels never should have modified Alice's or Ed's bookings. Virago should have referred them to the real United and hung up. It's one thing to say we work with United, but you can't say you are United. After our calls, Ed says his credit card refunded the $450 fee Virago charged. It just seemed very unreal. United fixed Alice's typo and rebooked her for free, the way it was supposed to happen. United also found $3,900 in Virago charges for her to dispute and get back. Alice is on her way because she called us. Well, thank you for doing this. And your basic job. I watch you at night and I say, I'll never need that. <laughs> Until you do. Thanks for speaking up, Alice. Our call button warning tonight goes beyond airlines. We Googled other big name businesses, a national carpet cleaner, a huge insurance company, and so on. Often we got a call button for a small time competitor. Google puts the onus on you to avoid being fooled. It told us consumers should clearly read all information on the listing before clicking on a call button. Now you know, so you don't dial trouble. Alice tipped us off on our website. Snap this QR code to share your story online.